Hello, hello friends, another candle review for you today and I am going to apologize from the get-go on this one. I am strictly putting out this candle review in case this one comes back into stock at some point this holiday season or maybe if it comes around next year then you guys will have a review on hand so that way you can kind of get the scent profile of this one from somebody. This candle is not in stock anywhere right now, you guys, and I am really, really going to apologize for that, that I was not able to get this review to you sooner while it was in stock. Still, like I just said, for the reasons I just mentioned, I did want to get a review out into the YouTube universe. So today we are going to be talking about Christmas Joy from Homeworks. This is in their four wick standard 18 ounce jar. Now let's hope maybe this one, maybe it'll come out in their little three wicks or I don't know, you guys, let's, let's just hope that maybe it'll make a return for Black Friday or a restock on the homeworks.shop website. Maybe it'll show up at TJ Maxx, Home Goods. I don't know, but um, yeah, I think you guys can pick up already where my review is going to be going with this one. Yes, I do want this one to come back into stock. So the scent notes on this one are sparkling orange, holiday spice blend, cranberry, and blue spruce. All right, so I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I ordered this candle based off of those scent notes thinking, okay, I think I'm going to like that. And then when I got it in as part of a pretty big um, Hallmarks haul, in fact, I think I've had this one now maybe for a month. Um, I honestly just did not have time to go through and film a Hallmarks haul for you before I started feeling, feeling the heat to get these uh, candles burning and start to develop some thoughts for reviews for you guys. But um, yeah, when I got this one in, I'm going to tell you honestly, it was my least favorite of all of the candles that came in. I, I don't know. On cold sniff, I was like, eh, this does not smell like what I thought it was going to smell like. Um, I don't know. I think I was expecting it to smell like more orangey or I don't know. So on, on cold sniff, this one smells kind of cinnamony, um, kind of like, you know, that holiday spice blend, which of course they don't tell you exactly what spices they're putting into. It's just a holiday spice, holiday spice blend accord. Okay, fine. That's great. But I just, I don't know. There was something about this one that on cold sniff, I was like, eh. And so honestly, I put off burning it for a while. Sorry, I just nearly knocked over my water bottle. I put off burning it for a while because it just was not my favorite on cold sniff. However, I finally decided to go ahead and light it up. And boy, oh boy, was I surprised. So my nose, when I, when I burn this one, definitely starts to pick up a little bit of that citrus note. It's almost like an effervescent citrus note. So if you guys saw my um, Away in a Manger review, which is from Kringle Candle, this candle is not as orange forward as that one. This one is more, I would say, proportionately balanced between a, the scent notes of spice and orange. Um, also, I just want to let you guys know, my kids are home from school. I am filming this. I'm kind of trying to do a little bit of batch filming here, and I am filming this on a day when they are home from school for the Veterans Day holiday. So if you hear some background noise, just know that my kids are living their best life and smile and move on. All right, so back to what my nose is smelling on this upon burn. I don't really pick up cranberry in this. A little bit of that blue spruce note, but this I would not say is a predominantly tree note type of scent. This, my nose, picks up a blend of citrus, like a fresh citrus, um, or not fresh, not like fresh orange though, like a, a an effervescent citrus, that's what I said earlier, blended with whatever they're calling that holiday spice blend. Now, I wouldn't even say that, I would say of all of the spice notes that my nose is picking up, it would probably be cinnamon, little bit of clove in there. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm smelling any nutmeg, but it doesn't smell like straight up cinnamon to me when it is burning. There's definitely a blend going on there, um, but the orange note is not as orange forward as the other orange quote unquote candle that I have been burning. Now I will say that the two of them complement each other very well. Um, and that's, I'm talking about Away in a Manger from Kringle Candle. I will usually burn this candle in one room and then that one in another one. And I find that the two scents together 
you can tell walking into different rooms that they are distinctly unique, but that they complement each other very well. This label is also really pretty. It's just so colorful and cheerful. Um, I love this one, especially at night. It looks really pretty lit up. Now I will tell you that this candle, like a lot of the Homeworks candles this fall and winter, while I feel like they resolved the wick issues from the spring where, you know, a lot of our, or I don't know, I maybe I'm just speaking for myself here, but I found that a lot of my spring and summer Homeworks candles, the wicks were having a tendency to move around a little bit. They were falling over. They were just kind of wimpy. I feel like maybe Harry and the team, um, they resolved that by getting a little bit sturdier wicks, which I'm glad for because I haven't had any issues with my uh, fall and, well, maybe the early fall releases, but like these Christmas releases, uh, they have not really been moving around for me, which is great. However, one of the things that I have found with these sturdier wicks is that they are mushrooming a little bit more. Like I definitely have to trim off those carbon balls before I relight every candle. Now I burn my candles the standard three hours maximum. This one is like I'm going to be blowing it out right after I get done with this review. Let me see if I'm tall enough to lift this up so I can show you guys what it looks like right now. So you can see in there that there were some carbon ball residue that fell into the wax uh, when I went to blow out this candle. Now, the good news is, is that it does not seem to be affecting the scent. Uh, the wax isn't really like stained either, I find. It's just that, I mean, it's unsightly, but who really goes and stares over a wax pool? I don't know. I don't. Um, you can see that there's no scorch marks. There's no sooting. So that part is really good. But yeah, the, I would say that's been the only issue I've had with a lot of the wicks, and that's been pretty consistent with all of the holiday releases that I have burned so far from Homeworks. Uh, again, that's not going to be a deal breaker for me. I actually would rather deal with that than moving weak wicks, falling over, that kind of stuff. I will say that the strength and throw of this one, strength of this one, I would say is probably about mm, maybe a six and a half. Pleasant. It, it, it creates a very pleasant atmosphere. I've actually had a couple of people come into my home when I have been burning this one and they say, oh, it smells really nice in here. So, hey, that's what I'm always going for. I want people to think my house smells nice better than them saying the opposite, right? Um, but I would say that the strength of this one is about a six and a half throw, I would say is also maybe about six to seven. It's enough that it fills up my living room, enough to fill up a bedroom for sure, um, but it's not overwhelming. It doesn't really travel room to room, which again, I'm okay with. I think you guys will pick up if you've seen plenty of my reviews that I am generally okay with a throw of um, anything really above a six or a seven. I'm pretty pleased with the throw on that just because I don't always necessarily want one candle to be filling up my entire house. I have so many candles that I need to burn them in separate rooms. So <laughs> I don't always necessarily want them interfering with one another. Like I said earlier, this candle is currently out of stock and I honestly don't know if it is going to come back into stock, but I did want to put this review out for all of you in case maybe you have this one in your collection and maybe you had similar thoughts as me upon cold sniff, I would say go ahead, light it up because it's really nice. I mean, worst case scenario, if you really don't like it, feel free to gift it to somebody. I would definitely gift it to somebody who um, maybe likes either spice, you know, kind of spice blends or um, a citrus. If they have citrus pre preferences, I think that they would like it. Let me know, you guys, if you happen to run across this one anywhere. Um, is this at TJ Maxx Home Goods? My nearest one is about an hour away from me, so it's not like I can just run in and be checking on that all the time. Um, I'm hoping maybe, I don't know, will it come to QVC? I believe it's at QVC UK. I thought I heard something like that, but I don't know. Um, here in the States, it was available on the homeworks.shop website and I feel like that was the only place I saw it and it was like there for a couple of weeks and then it was gone. So I don't know. I hope it comes back into stock, but if not, I don't know, maybe you'll be watching this next year. Who knows <laughs> if it comes, if it comes back around, but I did want to document my thoughts about it just in case it does pop back up.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot and I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Also, if you're coming across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to talk about candles and beauty on my channel. So if that sounds like something that interests you, join our little family here and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.